Hello there and welcome to another video of coding in AL. And today we are going to send an attachment via email. So I have already created the code so that because this code is not so tough, there's no need of creating it in the video in line with everybody um, seeing it. It's a straightforward code. So you just need the email code unit and the email message code unit. Define the in-stream variable, the file name. And uh, this is just my preference. I would like to have the body defined the way it is defined. And then so you just use the email message. The email message basically helps you to create the email to add the to append the body to add the attachment so this code unit will be uh helping you for in doing that this code unit this is like an object so uh, and um, so when you create you'll have uh you, you set the recipients then the subject and then the uh, body i have chosen to append the body via this append body method of the email messages instead of having this text here i could choose to have uh email body here but i have just appended the body so that i can use that functionality then uh this is html formatted this create the email message dot create is an overload method it has got several overloads email message dot create so you see you have this option where there is no option for html formatted there are four overload methods then there is this one we which have used the second overload method with html formatted so if your email has html which i believe it should because it makes your email look good then this is the method for you but if you have many recipients uh this is the best because you'll define them as a list of text and uh, HTML formatted as well. If you have uh, CC and BCC, you want to copy an email to someone and a blind copy, then this is the, the fourth over, overload method is the best for you. So choose the overload method that will fit your particular requirement. And after that, we basically upload into stream. We confirm that if we can be able to upload the file, that's why I've set the uh, the if here, and then uh, uh, this is the dialog title. The upload into stream has two two overload methods, but this is the best one because it will give us the file name that will be uh, that is needed here while attaching. So use the first overload method that has the dialog title from folder doesn't need to have a value. The from filter it's good to have a filter for the file types that you like to send because of security, so that when someone is selecting that attachment, they don't just select anything that they want to, but they select the particular files that they like. And then the finally the file name and then the in-stream. Then you can add an attachment and then you can come here to the email message and send. So the email message or send also has an overload method. Uh, if you like to define the, what is it called? uh come on so the email scenario so if you like to define the email scenario this feature is very good the email scenario if you want to send an email using uh different uh let me, let me just define the email uh in um email scenario scenario then This is the short version of that. So for instance here, I'd like maybe probably to specify the email scenario to be email scenario that is, I can say it's a customer statement and uh, notification. So while defining the email, you can select which email should be used when you are sending a particular um, uh, you, you can define a different email for a different email scenario it really helps especially if you have customers 
you want customers sent or oh, marketing emails let's let me use uh, marketing marketing and finance you want to use different emails or email group so for marketing you like any reply that comes to the marketing team to go via uh, so the sending email is a different email so the reply will go to that email that is specific to that team and the finance email as well remember in nav zero uh, 2018 and below we didn't have this functionality of email scenario and it was hard to separate where this email is going or coming from and after that you can just send the email message so for mine it will use the default email message and your attachment has been added begin with the uh of, of, to filter or from filter files and make sure that you have specified it accurately because i've seen this is where i got a little bit of errors at times because of omitting something like this or you'll just not be able to get it right so this represents the file name and this is the file extension so if it's all files we could have done something like star and then dot star so to mean all files but that is not uh, safe for uh, any system to have all files used in the file type or the file name the, the file type for sending an email I, I believe it should be a little bit specific so let's test the application let's send the email remember i'm sending the email to myself the source and the destination is the same do not reply uh this is the email with attachment it has the attachment icon i will choose the, this image of myself when i was in lam and uh, oh wow so the email has been received here it is you can see my it's just big eyes there and it is a, a very fast process you just upload the attachment and send the email so in the next video i'll be able to send a customer statement via email so uh maybe you'd like to send their monthly statements via email we'll look at such an example or your custom statement via email how will you be able to handle that so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video stay tuned if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one